Hello everyone, today we're going to see how you can create a paper cutout style illustration that you can apply to so many other different illustrations of yours. You'll find in the description below a link to download a file where you can find these elements that I'll be using in this tutorial. So the first thing I'll do is create a rectangle. Choose the rectangle tool and click on your artboard once, a panel will pop up where you can enter whatever dimensions you want. For this example, I'm going to match these dimensions with the artboard's dimensions. Align the rectangle with the artboard from here. Now click and hold on the rectangle tool to choose the ellipse tool. Click and drag to add an ellipse and hold shift to make a perfect circle. Align it as well to the artboard. With the ellipse selected, go to edit. Copy, edit again, and click on paste. Hide this ellipse to avoid confusion and select both the rectangle and this ellipse and go to Pathfinder. If you can't see Pathfinder on your screen, just go to Windows and click on Pathfinder. Click on Exclude. Now unhide this ellipse and select it and go to Edit. Copy, edit again, and click on Paste. Click on the corner and drag it down. To see what I'm doing, click on Ctrl plus Y for Windows users and Command plus Y for Mac users. Now with the small ellipse selected, go to Edit. Copy, Edit again, and click on Paste. Hide it and select these ellipses. Go to Pathfinder and click on Exclude. Do the same process with this ellipse as well. Let's change the colors to see better what's going on here. Make sure to position every layer properly. The smaller ellipse put it all the way down and in an ascending order place the other ellipses. So now go and choose one of the birds and the branches from the file in the description below. Now just place them as you wish. I'll speed up this process. Once you're done placing the elements, choose one of them and go to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow. For this example, I'm going to give X and Y offsets 15 pixels, the blur 12 pixels, and the opacity I'm going to leave at 50%. Now choose all the other elements and simply go to Effect and you'll find an option to apply the Drop Shadow with the previous settings we've made. Don't forget to apply the shadow to all the ellipses as well. Now choose this rectangle, double click on the gradient tool. From this panel, change it to freeform gradient. The way to change these default colors is simple, click on these small circles and change the color from here. Now change the color of each of these small circles and place each one of them on each corner of the rectangle. Now change the color of the branches if you haven't yet, and your job will be done. I hope this video was helpful, if it does please leave a like and make sure to check my other tutorials if you want to.